hi guys welcome to my channel my name is Ogi and i'm reaching you from abuja nigeria i share tips on healthy living how to live healthy on a budget savings budgeting great recipes and then of course modest lifestyle diy craft home gardening and a lot more it's a lot of fun in this in this channel guys so you want to subscribe if you've not yet subscribed already and if you're already a subscriber thank you so much for your love and support i truly appreciate it i would really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up and then share this video with your friends you want to watch the end of this video because we're going to be talking about something really exciting which is balanced diet balanced diet is really a concern for many because they do not understand what the term balanced diet means a lot of people think that balanced diet means combining different meals for different periods i mean different meals of the day for instance you have breakfast lunch and dinner some people think eating bread for breakfast eating swallow or eba or something of that nature for lunch and then eating maybe beans at night means balanced diet no balanced diet is a combination of different classes of foods in one meal meaning that you have to eat balanced diet in the morning you have to eat balanced diet in the afternoon you have to eat balanced diet at the, in the night so guys stick around with me until we get uh, to the to the end of the video so you can let all you need to know about balanced diet so guys Thank you for joining me on this channel we are here talking about balanced diet like i said balanced diet the combination of the six classes of food although some people think that balanced diet some people say that balanced diet is a combination of seven classes of food because they are separating one part of the meal from the other but i have combined two parts to make it six classes of foods so here i'm going to be listing all the classes of foods and i'm going to explain all of them one after the other the first we have which is the we're starting from the ground up because the food pyramid comes in a triangular way triangular form with the smallest on the top and then the the largest quantity at the bottom the largest now in this case is carbohydrate carbohydrate is the first on our list when it comes to balanced diet because it's always the the, the largest quantity required in our meal now i'm going to be listing all of them and then i'm going to be explaining them so i'm just going to do a really quick recap we have carbohydrates we have vitamins we have proteins we have fat and oils and then we have mineral salts last but not least is water water of course we know is even supposed to be the number one right okay we're going to start with water Water is one of the most important things in our lives and our bodies. You are aware that somebody can cope without eating for months, right? But the person, of course, cannot cope with, without water. Because once you lack water in your system, the part of the body, the organs and every other part begins to dehydrate. And once they dehydrate, they don't have capacity to keep functioning, right? It's just like the engine oil in the car. Without an engine oil, the engine will knock. We have about 70% of water in our blood. We have about 70% of water even in the world. The earth has about 70% water already, even if we can't see some of them because of the water is under the ground. So that's how much water is important for us. We're supposed to drink a lot of water every blessed day, at least two liters. Two liters is even too small because you can you take up to three liters or even more. Of course you know your body type and you know what works best for you personally i have this jerry can that i use i carry this around every time and i take up to three or four of these every day every day yes between two and four in fact sometimes five of it every day that's how much water you should be consuming and this is about one liter plus this makes about one liter plus once so i have about three of it every day i'm good to go meaning that i'm having about three to five three to four liters of water per day now water is very important for us you, you can set timers to 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 remind you of the need to take water if need be right because the more water you take the more healthy you look and water helps to cleanse apart from the oxygen that you need to Apart from the fact that your bodies need water inside our blood and of course in the other organs, water helps in detoxification, right? You don't need to be dehydrated. That is by the time your saliva starts to feel thick, you know you're dehydrated before you drink water. An alternative to water is water. Do not take 
soda or any other fizzy drinks or juice in place of water. As much as juice, for instance, that you very blended contains water, that's, that's even more toler tolerable. Don't take fizzy drinks in place of water. I know sometimes you're thirsty. Sometimes you just need to take something liquid down. Even if you have to take some fizzy drink to, to calm your nerves because you're, you're having the, the urge, right? You just take water afterwards. That's how important water is. I cannot over I cannot overemphasize how much water how how much water is important to us, right? So next on our list is the carbohydrate. Carbohydrate is responsible for giving us energy that we use to run our daily activities. Energy in this case is, can be called calories. So you should be sure what you need for the day to be able to know what you need to consume. But we're not going to be talking about that in this video. We're talking about the Cal, um, carbohydrate per se examples of carbohydrate is rice we have beans yes a lot of people don't know that beans contains ca um, carbohydrate it does contain carbohydrate as much as it also contains beans so we have rice we have carbo um we have rice we have um gary or semo or fufu we have corn we have um, yam we have ripe plantain this make up our our Carbohydrate they help to give us energy to run our daily activities. Yes, by the way, guys, know that excess of carbohydrate is not good because once you your body digests carbohydrate, it converts it to glucose, which is another word for for sugar. So when they say, for instance, avoid sugar, reduce sugar, it's not only the sugar you consume in your drinks or your tea or the one you add in your pastries or stuff like that. No, it also is in carbohydrate because the byproduct of carbohydrate is sugar. So you want to watch out for that also. Next on our list is vitamins. Examples of vitamins, we have fruits and vegetables really. We have fruits, examples of fruits, we have oranges, we have pineapples, watermelon, we have um, um, apples we have pears and all of that vitamins we have lettuce we have cucumber we have cabbage we have onions we have ginger yes we have them as vegetables by the way world health organization recommends that we take at least five fruits and vegetables per day to maintain a healthy lifestyle do you do that how many fruits and vegetables do you guys take tell me tell me tell me don't worry you can't trust me how many do you take every day i know your secret i know you don't take a lot <laughs> so by by subscribing to my channel i will help you big time to make that a, a dream come true if you really are in, in need of that it's very helpful trust me you cannot overemphasize the need for fruits and vegetables in your life it is that important guys so subscribe if you if you're watching this channel and you need help in that area even if you don't need help just subscribe because there are many things i'm going to be sharing on this channel that will be useful to you guys trust me so fruits and vegetables taking fried fruits and vegetables per day is the way to go when you want to live a healthy lifestyle now, talking about fruits and vegetables, it's very important to put fruits, vegetables in your meal while you're consuming them. For instance, you're eating rice, you're cutting some cabbage, you're cutting some um, carrots. Sometimes it's good to stir fry them so that if, if you don't, don't take them right. But just make sure they don't stay more than two minutes on the, on the heat because it's just, just going to kill it. Personally, I'm, adv I'm an advocate for eating fruits and vegetables raw. So if you don't want to take a raw, there are other ways to go about this. I'll be showing you guys in more videos to come by. So for fruits, it's advisable to take your fruits outside your meals. For instance, if you're taking your fruits, you want to take it like 15 to 30 minutes before your meals or that then one hour after meals by then your meal has digested because if you take your fruit i'm not talking about vegetables guys here if you're taking your fruit like banana oranges with your meal because fruits take a short very short time about 15 minutes to digest and your meals may take up to one hour to digest mixing your fruits and vegetables together is going to cause the fruit because it takes is a shorter time to digest to sour because it doesn't see room in your stomach to be able to to be able to digest so it's going to sour in between your meals and before the food actually gets to digest it has already soured and becomes toxic to your body so you're going to be by yourself consuming toxins even if there are still many toxins out there that we have no control of you don't want to be the one hurting yourself 
take charge of what you eat because we are what we eat right so that's about that for fruits and vegetables now we're going to and fiber dietary fiber now for that with fruits and vegetables here now vitamins is a combination of dietary fiber because yes i'm combining them because um we're not necessarily combine them let's talk about fruit and vegetables and then let's talk about dietary fiber dietary fiber we drive from mainly from our fruit and vegetables we also get it from things like corn we also get them from beans beans has a lot of fiber if you're advocate for watching weight, you want to eat more beans yes guys eat more beans if you're trying to watch your weight and then you have something like apples you have cucumber they have a lot of fibers and vegetables have a lot of fiber also you see when you're making your fruit drinks your fruit juices and then you extract the juice and then you trash the chaff that chaff is very very rich for you it's, it's dietary fiber you want to consume imagine your body is scrubbing some dirt out of your body detoxifying and doesn't see sponge or broom to sweep <laughs> imagine your body is washing gutter your gutter now is your body don't quote me sorry eh? <laughs> for using the word gutter but that's what it really is our bodies accumulate a lot of toxins over time and we need fiber to be the broom to be which to sweep out all of these toxins from our blood and our bodies right so that's how important our dietary fibers are so next item we have is proteins which we have in our meats with cheese we have yogurt we have um chicken fish beef snails are healthier options guys so you want to opt for healthier options when you're doing when you're, of course that's what it should be right older people are recommended to have more proteins than younger people because proteins are more responsible for for healing and repairing body tissues they are the building blocks of life they help to repair body tissues and a lot of other things as that like our muscles and everything like that help to repair regenerate our skin and everything like that proteins are more um, responsible for that while vitamins and the nutrients that we get from fruits food food that we eat and of course minerals from other foods as well then the next item we have our fats and oils which comes in the form of oils that we use for cooking we have palm oil we have vegetable oil, we have coconut oil we have sesame oil we have all kinds of oil we also have even our salad creams contains oils so we want to be careful when we're using that because the lesser the better for us then last but not least we have mineral salt mineral salt here means things like sugars we have salt be sure that be, be note that um sodium uh, a lot of processed foods have sodium in them and sodium is another word for salt so you want to be sure be careful when you're consuming canned foods because they have a lot of salt and you want to be careful using salt because they should be sparsely used because they are at the top oils sugar salt they are at the top of this uh, pyramid and they should be used minimally that's how to maintain a healthy lifestyle that's one of the ways to maintain a healthy lifestyle so i hope this video is able to help you guys in one way or another learn one or two things about balanced diet and of course any other thing i'm going to be talking about ulcer for some of us that have um that some of us that have ulcer you want to be careful how you're using foods that have fiber like garden eggs and pineapples so but i'll be carrying you along with in subsequent videos on how to go about that so be sure to subscribe if you're not yet subscribed if you watched my video to this level or uh, to this to this up till now i want to say a big thank you to you it is well appreciated thank you so much i hope this video is helpful uh, helpful to you in one way or another please let me know by dropping your comments below and then sharing with your friends and then give me a thumbs up if you like this video i'll be glad to read from you from this comment section subscribe if you've not yet subscribed <laughs> And then join this amazing family guys i'll be seeing another video until then stay safe be good bye